Okay. Let's see the impact. Let's say it's given that on the asset side, you had cash plus stock plus furniture. Hundred plus thirty plus eighty, and you had capital plus liability. Okay. For the sake of easiness, I'm taking not putting thousands in this particular example. Let's say you were asked record sales of goods for rupees 30. So what has happened is for cash credit. Now the stock of goods has been sold for rupees 30. So obviously this disappears. So what is left? You are left with 100 plus 80. Cash becomes 0 for cash. So if this works for cash, you will add 30 to the cash. You get 130 plus 80 is equal to 180 plus 30. So this gives you 210, this gives you 210. What if this would have been sold on credit? If this were sold on credit, then this cash would not increase. Right? Your goods will go out definitely plus you would have a receivable or data as we call it in accounting concept of 30. The liability size will remain unaffected. So you would have this as 100 plus 80 plus 30, 210, 210. And that's how your accounting equation is balanced. Right?